Chopin, what I want to know from you is Congress sat on a wall, Congress had a great fall. Can all Sonia's men put Congress back together again? Or it's too late now? Because the BJP is already in a little bit of a celebratory mood. Is it already scripted what is going to happen in 2013 in Delhi and 2014 nationally? Or can there be some retrospective moves? No, 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 no. Nothing is inevitable. You know, I think the first thing about politics you have to realize is that nothing is inevitable. At present, the BJP has clawed back some ground hmm. which it has lost in Delhi. I think but the BJP still needs to work quite a lot on developing local faces. Mm. I think after the sort of Madan Lal Kurana, Vijay Kumar Malhotra generation of leadership yes. has gone out, uh, I mean, they've, they've had their time and they should be out, put out to graze. Mm. The new leadership hasn't fully emerged within the BJP. Mm. And I think really, if the BJP is to take advantage of an undoubtedly jaded Congress. I think more than anything else, after three terms in office, I think the Congress is look in Delhi is looking a bit vulnerable. Okay. So, but at the same time, they are quite an entrenched force. If that, if they had to com uh, counter that, yes, they have to really come up with a far more dynamic leadership. And I think okay. this is a process which the BJP has to counter not only in Delhi yes. but throughout the country. Bani, is that there are too many tired, there are too many tired horses in the BJP. Bani, Bani Mr. Fresh blood. Okay. Mr. Gadkari was asked this question. You know, Shopan, I'd like Bani to respond to that. Uh, Mr. Gadkari was asked this question. What is your strategy for next year's assembly election? Uh, what, what is your strategy for Delhi? And he said, oh, let the state uh, state party decide that. I don't want to comment on that. Bani, does the BJP have any clear strategy or is this a victory? And perhaps it might remain a victory in isolation. Do you have a game plan for 13 and 14? Well, if we are going to have a game plan to begin with, we won't have retained the MCD with such a large margin, number one. Number two, all election strategies and all political strategies are not supposed to be discussed in public forum. Of course, we are working very hard. We are re-entrenching our cadres. And, you know, just look at us. We are a cadre based party. Aren't you a little, need, too, no, no, aren't you a little, aren't you a little, little too enthusiastic after losing three times as far as... No, I mean, we are not, no, come on. I mean, there is a lot of introspection and a lot of policy making which has gone into this election. Okay. Which also included the campaign strategy that you, sh that you saw and it worked. Okay. So, I mean, of course, from here forward, we want to, as, as, as Shapanda said, we've clawed ourselves back into, you know, what is happening in Delhi. And of course, we are going to go up. We are going to work on a lot of uh, entrenchment of the cadres, bringing back, you know, the people, you know, into the fold. Yes. And also, we don't have a crisis of leadership. We are not a private limited company. We are a cadre based party. Okay. We have workers then who work very hard Then who is your chief ministerial candidate? Well, this is not supposed to be an individual <laughs> decision. The party in the parliamentary body look Mr. Balakrishna, and what I would like to know from you also is that here, of course, the BJP yeah. is very happy in the north. Things in the south, obviously, not that good if you look at what is happening with Yadurappa. What are the chances of, of a national revival of the BJP? Yes, the, cent the, the, the urban centers, some of them going towards the BJP. North is looking good for the BJP. But what about South India? South India, uh, uh, Mr. Yadi Europa ha has made the task of the Congress extremely easy. Mm. The, the first time the BJP was uh, able to make its presence felt in, in the South and it could have used Bangalore as, as a base and then spread its tent tentacles across it in Andhra Pradesh, in Tamil Nadu and then uh, Kerala to, to certain extent. Yes. But th 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 once again the BJP completely lost the chance. They have a person like Mr. Yadi Rupa who, yes. who appears to be making a full-time profession of blackmailing the national leadership. Mr. Sadhanan Gowda, the new CM, has absolutely no freedom, no room for, for manoeuvre, nothing whatsoever. You see the kind of corruption that you are coming out of out of uh, Bengaluru virtually every day. I mean, apparently the, uh, it appears to be a, a competition in corruption between the Congress at the national level and the BJP at, at, the, at, the, at Karnataka level. If, if this is the kind of situation that is going to happen, A and B, the, even okay. today, even today, there is a huge, uh, huge faction within the BJP which does not accept the leadership of, of Nitin Gadkari. Okay. And even within the, um, I am told, even within the RSS, they are having second doubts as to whether Nitin Gadkari will be able to lead the party into the election in 2014. And then, okay. given these kind of uh, uh, improbables, I don't think it will be uh, 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 an easy task for the BJP to cash in on the anti-incompensive I, 